This is going to revolutionize human life. It's already beginning. It's going to mean that all of the genetic defects that have caused so much pain and suffering for people for millions of years, all of that could potentially be removed. So why does the great woman who invented this wake up in the middle of the night worrying about it? When I started this research project, we were certainly not thinking about uh, technology that would allow alteration of, of, of human evolution or anything of that nature. And over the last uh, few years, when, as this technology has begun to uh, be deployed globally in different, uh, for different applications, I've found that I've gone from you know, thinking about it initially just with you know, sort of almost, uh, you know, wide-eyed excitement thinking about all the opportunities that this offers to realizing that, you know, there was real risk and that, that we really needed, we meaning the scientific community and really, frankly, the, the human community needed to be aware of this and discussing it. And one of the things that, that sort of brought that to the forefront of my mind was a dream that I had uh, fairly early on uh, in which I was, uh, you know, I walked into a room and a, a colleague of mine said to me, uh, Jennifer, I'd like you to explain the CRISPR technology to a friend. And he, he brought me into a room and uh, there, a person was uh, sitting with their back to me. And as they turned around, I realized with sort of a hor hor horror that it was, it was Hitler. And it was actually Hitler with a sort of a pig nose. And it almost looked like a chimeric pig human uh, sort, of, sort of creature. Uh, and it was, it was, you know, it sounds funny in a way to relate that image. But it, in the dream, it was a terrifying thing. And I, I really felt real just, you know, stone cold fear in the dream and, and sort of woke up from that dream with a start and, and realized, you know, kind of had this initial feeling of what, what have I done, you know, and <laughs> what have I done, you know, and. <laughs> so why does the great woman who invented this wake up in the middle of the night worrying about it? Um, gene editing, exactly. you know, I'm opening a whole new horizon for medical science. And you see, the difference of this first uh, industrial revolution is it doesn't change what you are doing. It changes you. If you take a genetic editing, right. uh, just as an example, it's you who exactly. are changed. Yeah. And of yeah. course, this has a big impact. It changes you if you take a genetic editing. What I wanted to epitomize with the Internet of Bodies is this notion that we will be under assessment, we will be under measure of computation in every aspect of our lives. We will be under assessment, we will be under measure of computation in every aspect of our lives in the future. From what you eat, who you date, what you buy on the internet, um, how much energy you use, but also what are your vital signs? How well are you doing in terms of health? Uh, what kind of specific genetic quirks do you have? What's your genome telling about your health, about your mental health, mm -hmm. about how well you are doing, how well you are aging, what kind of disease you are sus susceptible to? It has a bit of an Orwellian twinge to it. Well. <laughs> it has a bit of an Orwellian twinge to it. Well. <laughs> <laughs>